Have you ever wondered what a six foot nine point guard with a 92 tree ball with accelerator looks like? Send it. You're about to find out. Ladies and gentlemen, Accelerator is definitely the most overpowered perk on this game. I like it better than the Juice perk what I've seen. The Juice is nice though. Juice perk is nice. Extender is slept on. Send it. But this Accelerator enables you to get takeover in literally two shots. You pretty much have takeover in two shots. Those were my first two buckets. Now, if I get a rebound or anything, I have takeover. As you see right there, I got the bailout dunk. On the 6-9, it's already a bailout build. This build, when it, whenever I'm on the 6-9, it's literally just a mess around. Because it takes no skill to use this build. Even the way I'm using it, it takes a little bit Send of skill, it. but the build can do everything. It's not as fast as the 6-1s, but they get to their spots faster than the 6-1 because of those Durantula type steps. Hold on, the brother. What kind of jersey is that? Me know it's Kyrie Irving not... Oh, never mind. That's GVO Kakashi jersey. My bad, my bad. Hey, hey, homie, what's in that bag? What's in that bag? It's Halloween. I'ma need what's in that bag right now. Yeah, let's jump. Oh. Complete the whole My Career storyline. Leave only one quest. You don't have to do it. the college flashbacks. You don't have to do that. Now, you're going to get Ricky Stat Challenge X for the extender, or you're going to get Ricky Stat Challenge 9, which is just 2,500 VC, as you see right here. And then you're going to get Ricky Stat Challenge Y, which is the accelerator perk. Now, it's completely randomized. Sometimes some people get accelerator first, the Ricky Stat Y. I got extender first every single time on all five builds. I got an extender. I just went ahead and got the extender perk out the way. The next week, accelerator came. But on some of the builds, I only got Ricky Stat Challenge 9. So you want to make sure you do this on at least two to three builds if you want Accelerator the next week. If you want to guarantee Accelerator within the first two weeks, you want to do it on more than one build. If you just do it on one build, you're going to mess around and not get the quest. Because if you don't complete Extender Quest or you don't complete the, the 2500 VC, they're just going to keep repeating that. You want to complete whatever they give you. Let's say you do it on one build and you get the Ricky Stat Challenge 9 for the VC. Do that. Then the next week they should give you Extender or Accelerator. Do what, whichever one they give you to get the next one. You have to do it. If you don't do it, they're just going to keep repeating it. So what I did is I did it on four different builds at first and I did it on the fifth one just because. Because I wanted it to already make the build before I unlocked it. So I was like, I might as well do it. And I ended up getting it. You see, I don't have college flashbacks done on anything. Now, the great thing about this is when you get it unlocked, say you have one build and you got it on one build. When you create a new build, this is a fresh new 60 overall build. I'm just making just to show you guys that it works. 60 overall with no badges. You see it. Obviously, it's a rebirth. I start off with all the perks that I got recently from any other build. So extender is already there and accelerator is there. So that's a good thing. If you only got a few builds, get it on those few builds. Now I'm about to show you guys the my career answer so you can get through my career easily. And I'm going to break down how you should knock out my career super easy. Instead of taking a whole day, it'll take five, six hours the way I do it. These are the J. Cole Cold World answers because you don't want to waste time. Get a screenshot of this. You don't want to waste time. Get a screenshot. Trust me. Yeah, it's cool to know all the answers, but I, I don't play my career to be cool. I play my career to get badges and get things I need. Nothing wrong with playing my career. My career used to be the boy. Them, yo, everybody used to run up some my career back in the day. Yes, them. No, this is the Callaway slash Hammond quest answers. This is real easy. It's only three. So even if you get them wrong, you're going to get them right eventually. You don't know the thing already. No, I got to break down how you guys need to do my career fast because a lot of y'all are doing my career wrong. You see my, you see me on card, man. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, saying? I'm not as good as I used to be, but I still got something. I still got something. I like MW2, man. It is fun. I play with my IROs, and it's, it's just a game to play and have fun. I don't really see the point to sweat this game. There's no barracks or anything, anyways. No. Make sure you check out that Wayne's World channel if you want other games. All right, that's the channel I'm gonna be posting them on. No, we were going against some goat statuses, dudes that are decent at the game. We don't play twos, but for this day, we were on the twos court. And you're gonna see how fast I get accelerator. I get takeover with accelerator super fast. Now, the way you want to complete my career for those that are listening, you don't want to complete one quest at a time. You know how you got the palace intrigue and it says, talk to such and such. Then go talk to this person. Then go do this. 
then play your next two games, play your whatever. You want to pretty much run all the quests them out at the same time. So complete all the, the challenges that's telling you to do in that quest. So say for instance, the Palace Intrigue says you need to talk to Sasha Trust. Then once you do that, it says play your next NBA game. Don't go play your next NBA game. Go talk to J. Cole and run that through until it says play your next NBA game. And when you finish that, go to the Callaway. Do everything you need until it says play your next NBA game. And then when you're done with that, go to whatever else is saying to do. Hot dog head, whatever it is. Whatever the challenge is, do it all at once. Run to all the quests, talk to everybody you need to, answer all the rap battles, all that stuff. And then when it all lines up and says, play your next NBA game all at once, then you're going to be able to knock down my career even faster. Because each quest takes a couple hours. So if you do them one by one, it's like literally almost a whole freaking day, half a day or more. And that's if you're doing it at a fast pace. One thing I will say is play on rookie difficulty so you can sim out with VC at halftime. Hanging on the rim method doesn't work anymore to count the games. And falling out definitely don't work anymore. Only for the pilot's intrigue, but you don't want to do that since you're doing it the way I'm telling you. So let's say in one night, you're able to finish the Callaway quest, which takes long. The cold world takes a little long. Once you get through all the answers and stuff, it's not going to take that long, but the way I'm doing it doesn't take long because Send once it. I finish the J. Cole rap battles and stuff, it's going to say play your next NBA game. I don't go play that game yet. I go knock out another quest until it says play your next game. And then whenever I'm at that next game, the first thing I try to do is I just run up the threes. Step back threes, rookie difficulty. You can hit a three with no badges, no attributes on rookie difficulty. With a 25 three, you can green threes and be up by 25 points at halftime. Once you're up by 25 points at halftime, sim out with VC. Unless you care about my career, then you can do whatever you want. But if you're like me, that's just using my career to get the perk, guess what? You're gonna have to do it like this. So once you complete all of that, you do the runways, all that stuff, and you win over the business district, by wearing the fashion clothes you're gonna have to wear the clothes they give you when you're playing micro it's gonna help you get fans quicker when you're doing the walkway make sure you're doing the walkway so you can get the fans them because if you do not do that you're not going to be able to unlock the endorsements them and that's going to prevent you from completing some of the quests that you need to move forward okay so make sure that you guys do that now the six nine with the accelerator is not fair two shots and a dunk you have takeover even if you have good defense, like if you are getting a lot of good stops in the paint, you're getting a lot of good teammate grades, you're going to get a lot of takeover off that. You see, I have sharp take and my layup pretty much just moved it up that much. Now I'm literally one shot away from takeover. That's not even fair. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. This 6-9 with accelerator is not fair. Man. I've already played against a few people with it. I know when I'm on my 6-9 with accelerator, it's some cheese, dog. It comes in so clutch because I'm I'm not really a selfish person on this game. You know, this ain't 2K22, 2K21 where the guard has to take all the shots. Yes, a 6'9 player is a guard. Me and Robo, we, we share the rock equally. But it's so good to know that I can still get takeover in the last two shots Send if I it. need to. Just let my teammate cook and have some fun. And then when I step in, I got takeover immediately already because by that time I have good passing good shots in the corner something like that i'm gonna have takeover before the person without accelerator even has it i can go one for six and get takeover before robo it happened actually which is crazy because he was making a lot of shots but once you finish my career the main storyline so you finish palace intrigue court and callaway foundational thinking you finish cold world quest you finish the business district you also finish hammond park do not worry about the college flashbacks. I haven't done them one time. Not one time. You don't need to do that. I haven't done it and I have accelerators. You clearly see top right, I have accelerator. I don't have the college flashbacks done. It's just a waste of time. What that does is it gives you the statue outside. If you want the statue, go ahead, do it. Man. I don't care about the statue. I never see it anyways. On other people's screens, they'll probably be there, Send but I'm never, I don't even load in by the, the My Career Ricky stat, wherever he is. I don't load in by there. I load in literally by the Gatorade facility, pretty much, or the block every single time. So it's up to you if you want to do the college flashbacks. That's all it does is it, it gives you the statue outside. But if you don't want to waste your time with that, do not worry about doing that. It's just a waste of time. Now, once you beat Shep in that 5v5, actually it's 4v4 part, you got to win five games on that. Once you beat Shep, you'll get it. 
you'll unlock those cords. Every single one of those cords, you'll unlock them, and you are able to grind your badges on it. Even though it's rookie difficulty, you get like Hall of Fame progression if you want to max your build out. One thing I would say is don't worry about badge grinding while you're getting accelerated. That's just going to take way longer. Play on rookie difficulty. Do not worry about the badge grinding. Just play on rookie, rookie difficulty. Get the games over fast. You can play on Hall of Fame, but sometimes you won't get that 25 score when they sim you out. It's easy to go up by 25 even on Hall of Fame just shooting threes. But when they sim you out, you might not come back with a 25 lead. So rookie difficulty enables that. It saves that. All right. Make sure you also run like a 2-3 zone or a 3-2 zone. Also, press right on the D-pad, press triangle, then press square. Then press right on the D-pad again, press square, then press X. It'll make the defender for the AIs. The AI defense is going to be way better. One is going to deny them when they don't have the ball, so they don't leave wide open shots. And when they do have the rock, the AI is going to play tight defense. Just do that. Trust me. All right. That's how you get through my career fast. I know a thing or two about my career because I hit 99 overall and pretty much three weeks in the military and that's what started my youtube career when i was in the military now i hit 98 overall in those three weeks it took me another month when i got back to work to hit that i took a whole month of leave off just to hit 99 overall and start my youtube career up and at that time i wasn't even getting paid for it but i had a vision and the vision i'm living today all right that's what happens when you don't give up you just believe in yourself and do what you need to do bro all right now once you get accelerator you're free to go unfortunately all the builds that you already have made will not get it so if you got a 6-1 a 6-3 and a 6-9 like me and all like I, I got a lot of other builds but i'm gonna have to delete them just to get gym right automatically and accelerator it's worth the payment i'm not gonna lie to you i'd rather pay to get it over with off the rip rather than to have Send to freaking it. grind that all over again so once you do that, if you make any new build after you get the perk, you're going to start off with that automatically, which is a huge W. My six one that I made automatically started off with Accelerator. Now, I ended up playing the whole my career series thinking that I needed to play it over to get those courts unlocked. And those courts I'm talking about is the court that you play Tracy McGrady on, you play J. Cole on, or you play Shep Owens on, or Devin Booker on. You don't have to beat my career to get those courts. You just have to get to the point in my career where it says, beat this court five times, the Moss Point games. Once you complete any of those games, you unlock that court, and then you can badge grind on that court. It's the fastest way to get your badges. You literally get badge progression in there faster than micro because you get Hall of Fame progression pretty much or at least superstar and the game's finishing in, in literally three to five minutes rather than playing a whole 20 minutes, 30 minutes my career for pretty much the same stats in that 30 minutes. You can get three times what you can get in my career and that's how I max my builds out so fast. So I'm putting you all on free game this video. If you've been watching the video this long, you got all the answer them. You, you wrote you wrote down all the answers them are screenshotted it. And you don't want to leave a like? You are bad money soldier, bro. Hit that like button for your brother. Because I'm giving you all the stuff you need to get this accelerator badge on your six foot nine demi. Because I know a lot of y'all use the demis them out here. I'm just using it in this video to show you what's up. The build is fun. Don't get me wrong. It's the most overpowered build on this game. It is a fun build to use. But as a guard, I enjoy my 6-3 and my 6-1 more even when I'm losing. Just because I can play the way I want to. I'm not really just cheesing the game to get W's back to back. Because I don't lose on this 6-9 barely ever. Worthy opponents will beat me here and there. But when you're on a small guard, sometimes you're just going to lose just because you miss one or two shots. And the six nines is hard to stop in the paint. On a little guard, you got to get in front of them, hold the hands up and hope that you get the stop. Sometimes, more times than none, you're going to get the stop. But if they get around you, you're done for. It's just that simple. If they get around you, even with your hands up, it's going to register no contest. Some of them will make it through the contest. But it's good to have everything, not to be just one dimensional, not to have just a little guard. You want to have a 6'9", too, just to pop out, give them a taste of their own medicine. My 6'9 plays like a little guard, bro. I play on my 6'9 like a little guard. I don't change my play style up. I fade, I shoot threes, I dribble the same, and I dunk from the free throw line. That's what I do on the 6'9s then. Now, when you get accelerated with the 6'9, it's not even fair, fam. I'm going to be real with you guys. 
with that 6.9 and the accelerator, you're going to see. Just get get it yourself and you're going to see. Nah, I ain't going to lie. That was the last she wrote for that game. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video and all the information you got from it, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like up the video and share the video for the people that I'm out there that are really confused on how to get accelerator, what they should do, the answers, all that stuff is in this video. Big up on the self, big up Lord Almighty. Oh, do you want to know the thing already? Yeah, I'm on gaming. Gone.